the GSEs, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Yeah. Well, it's it's such an interesting issue because the GSEs have for decades been the most controversial companies in Washington, and everybody thought they had an easy fix for the Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac problem. And here we are, you know, a year plus after the, the financial crisis started, and there's still no solution in sight for these two behemoths. What do we want to do? What do we want our housing market to be like? What sort of losses are these companies going to cause? And it's just it's just really actually astounding when you pause to think about it that this can still be this this black hole basically. Bethany, why do you think it is that firms such as JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Citigroup seem to get all the attention when in reality taxpayers have so much more at risk in the GSEs potentially even more than we have at risk with AIG. I think it's because nobody really understands Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. This whole concept of the secondary mortgage market is kind of a mystery to most people despite that's that that's the way mortgages got financed. I also think it's because there's not an easy solution to the Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac issue. You really have to grapple with what do you want home ownership in America to look like? What sort of government resources do you want to go to home ownership? If you get rid of Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac now, what do you do to support the housing market? And there are just all these incredibly complicated sort of societal questions surrounding them, so everybody just ducks. And the amazing thing even further is that without the securitization market for mortgages, especially jumbo mortgages and the like, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are all we have now. It, precisely. And it's, you know, it's fascinating because the companies always said to their critics that wait till the market crashes, the private market will disappear. And their critics always said, oh, look at the flourishing private market. We don't need Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. And the great irony of this is that it turns out Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac were precisely right.